What's up, what's up, what's up? Garrett here at Born To Be Ratted. Finally, we're gonna do our movie room tour. Now, when you walk into the movie room, you get greeted by these guys. Big fan of the Karate Kid. You got Daniel LaRusso and Mr. Miyagi here. This is an OG one sheet. As you can see, it's folded out 27 by 41 on this frame. I like this frame because you can kind of switch things out. So I have this one in here. Usually the first thing you guys see, and it's signed by none other than Martin Cove, William Zabka, Ralph Macchio, and Elizabeth Shue. And a cool thing down below here is a very limited piece um, that I got. I was able to snag one of these, limited to 30. Uh, you've got William Zabka and Martin Cove from Cobra Kai, and you've also got their handprints here, which I thought was really cool. And I think what's cool about that red handprint on Martin Cove is it reminds me of Karate Kid 2, where he punches through that window. So I like that a lot. All right, come with me. In here is my gym. That's where we keep the rad bod in there. So that's we'll talk about that another time. But as we get over to here, you've got more posters. I'm a big poster guy. Um, when I wanted to do this room, not only did I want to just add a lot of my favorite things here, but I also wanted to just kind of keep it neat and clean. Like, that's my thing. I don't like a lot of clutter. So to have this neat and clean the best way I can and find, you know, different spaces to put little things. But we've got the Ninja Turtles from 1990, one of my favorite all-time movies. Have to display that bad boy here. Judith Hogue signed this thing, and it says, Am I late on my Sony payments again? I love that. Up top here, you get this awesome, you know, the eyes without a face design. You get Daniel LaRusso with the black eye there. And then down below, we got Daniel LaRusso's headband uh, replica from the Karate Kid. And then as we move through here, boom, Goonies, definitely childhood favorite. Goonies here. You get the map up top. And then down below, real cool piece, that is the ticket for the movie Lucas with Corey Haim. So this was an actual ticket used at the red carpet screening for Lucas. So got that bad boy, big Corey Haim fan as you guys know, framed it up, it's hanging in the movie. All right, so we're in the main area of the movie room here. This is where I hang out, this is where I watch movies. So before we get into what I have here, this right here, uh, I wanna talk to you guys about this was weird because when I moved in, there was kind of like this opening here. There's some storage back there. I was able to find a shelf that just fit right in there. And I was able to kind of display a lot of things that I'm really into, especially growing up. So as you can see, got some Jason Hawks up top. Those are from, um, I think they were from Creation X back in the day. I could probably use some new ones because these things are really old. Um, cool stuff on these shelves, as you guys see. Got some Funkos, got your American Psycho with the Patrick Bateman uh, business card there. It's bone cool item. I know a lot of people like this. If you're an OG Halloween fan, you gotta have the snow globe. So cool item here. Again, OG. It only made a limited edition. Came with the VHS. And you got here, you got your statues, the universal monsters. Always gonna represent the classics. Uh, awesome here. This bottle right here filled with this water. This is actually from Camp Crystal Lake. Uh, it's the Angry Mother Bottling Company. So this is actual water from the lake where they filmed Friday the 13th. You got some Viper there from Street Trash. Uh, down below here, you get some cool Funkos, Karate Kid, again, big Karate Kid fan, but behind them is the Remco Karate Kids, the ones I grew up with. And then if you come across here, two awesome additions, my favorite documentaries, Never Sleep Again, Crystal Lake Memories, and signed by almost all the cast. So really cool items I have displayed here. This Darth Vader head is just something we had growing up and it fit in there, so I was like, hey, hey I have to represent a little bit of Star Wars here. Uh, Funkos, you got your Lost Boys here. And then down below, these are my childhood Hasbros. Some of my favorites growing up. I knew I needed to display them because they meant so much to me growing up. Right now, the big thing growing up for me was baseball. Big baseball fan, especially cards, big card collector. So I was able to keep some of my favorites in here and I have them displayed out. Uh, this was actually given to me uh, for my grandmother for my birthday. This was that upper deck Griffey rookie. Griffey was my favorite player, so I wanted to keep this, got it graded, uh, have this here. So that's really important to me. And I was also, as a kid, I did get a signed Griffey ball with a certificate of authenticity on it. So happy to have that. It's been in my collection a long time. And then also, too, one of the biggest cards to get in the 80s, you're going to get that rated rookie, Jose Canseco, with a signed ball. So if you guys were collecting cards in the 80s, you know this card. All right, the bottom of the shelf is things I've had for a long time. My CD collection, what I have left of it. And again, so many different genres. I kind of like everything, but to me, CDs never go on a style, and I think they are going to make a comeback. And I've had these things displayed pretty much my whole life. All right, so a couple cool things in this corner here. This is kind of a brand new item. It's actually a poster day bill from Umbrella. And what I love is I'm a big mashups guy. Uh, Fred Rags is mashups all the time. We'll do mashups. I'm just all about it. This was a pretty cool day bill mashup of Day of the Dead. We have Bub. Crocodile Dundee. So, I mean, when you really talk about 80s and something totally off the wall, 
the color scheme and everything. I knew I had to have this and it just happened to kind of fit in a perfect spot. So uh, that's brand new from Umbrella. I think it's sold out now, but really cool looking item. Uh, one of my favorite items is here. I was able to meet Kiefer Sutherland a couple times and uh, got him to sign this cool print here. And then underneath, Weird Science, one of my favorite John Hughes movies. And I got that signed by all three who are on this poster here. All right, so we get over to the TV 65. I just got this LG OLED. Uh, I've had an LG 4K 65 inch for a while. Changed to OLED, man, it made such a huge difference. I highly recommend this. The picture quality is insane. Now, as you can see how I have it set up here, get the neons in the back. Uh, I like this has the pillars on the side here because I can display some cool items. So, uh, you know, at the top here, some of my favorite stuff. You've got Ninja Turtles, Ghostbusters props displayed up there. You've got some stuff up at the top here, the blob. Check this out. Nice little blob prop. So this item down here is pretty cool. This is actually Sam from Trick or Treat. Now, this is a Sideshow Collectibles. It's actually the first Sam they ever came out with. I know that other companies have kind of replicated this, but this is the original right here. Uh, I got myself a Halloween knife signed by Nick Castle and everybody's favorite, Tony Moran. So on this side, same thing. Got some uh, cool Nightmare on Elm Street stuff in here. Got the glove. Got that Dream Phone. If you guys want to check that out a little bit more uh, from Little Shop of Gore. I did a video on that Dream Phone, so that's displayed over here. Some Halloween items as well. Gotta have the Ben Tramer. Gotta have the Ben Tramer mask uh, hooked in. Big Ben Tramer guy. Check this out up top over here. If you like the stuff, you're going to like this. This stuff container is actually from the movie itself. I think it took place in the supermarket scene. This is signed by Larry Cohen, so really cool item to have. Love the stuff. And then down below here, you see some cool items. Love this. This Zuni doll from Trilogy of Terror. Uh, this is a kind of a hard item to get. I got the Puppet Master back there. Got Blade. And then I've got the Elrod knife over here. It's actually engraved pretty cool. Uh, Dick Warlock signed this, and it's cool. It's got the inscription that says the Elrod on there. So I know it kind of buried up in the corner over here, but again, similar to that Kiefer picture I have over here, Jamie Gertz star. Um, again, I'd never met Jamie Gertz. One of the things I want to do because I would love to get that thing signed. All right, you've got the screen, the ghost face display over here. Skeet Aldrich signed that mask. Then down here, I got that phone. Let's check it out. Hello, Sydney. You hang up on me and I'll cut through your neck until I feel bone. Uh, the screen phone signed by Nev Campbell. Sorry about that. Uh, check this out here. Old school, keeping it old school. Candy dish. Remember this? So you remember back in the day, your grandmother had the candy dish. Got some Sour Patch Kids in here for some guests. Then over here, we got the OG WWF White IC title signed by the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels, my all-time favorite wrestler. All right, we got the H1 pumpkin down there going, replica. And we got this killer reanimator prop. I love this thing from Nightmare Trash. All right, cool thing here, guys. This is really cool. Another item from Nightmare Trash. They do great work. I got this cool, it's, I don't even know what, acrylic? Uh, it's like that old school 80s VHS horror sticker. So I've got that there. Love this thing. Uh, Chucky's hanging out over there. All right, so if you guys know me, I'm a big poster guy. If you've been watching this channel, you know I'm a huge poster guy. When I did this room, I wanted to make sure that this thing had a lot of posters. I love originals. I love screen prints. And as you kind of get a look over here, uh, I've got a lot of stuff as far as these original screen prints. Very, very limited stuff here. Um, I got this cool Jaws one out. These are all signed by the actual original artists who did these. So we got Jaws. Big Trouble Little China. We got this killer Mac and Me video cassette poster. This was actually done by a company called Sadist Art. Uh, you can find them on Instagram. Gotta represent Arnie in here. We got the Schwarzenegger, the Predator, the OG. Cool Robocop. Robocop's one of my favorite movies from the 80s. Had to represent that here. Back to the Future, of course. This cool Fast Times at Ridgemont High, my favorite comedy of all time. Had to represent this poster. I think this came from like Europe or something like that. And these two prints right here were from an artist, Alex Arismendi. I think that's how you pronounce his name, but he did these creep show. You gotta get a closer look at these things. They are beautiful. Now, if you kind of take a look at the way I designed this thing, a lot with this bright red and the white trim, um, this was actually inspired, believe it or not, by Scream 4 when they went into Kirby's house at the end and uh, she had like those red walls with the white and the dark furniture and stuff. And for whatever reason, I was like, oh, that just looks like a cool ass movie room and cool colors and stuff. And I knew when I got this, I wanted to kind of replicate that. So weird fact is that the way I designed this, and I know red is kind of a popular color, actually came from Kirby's house in Scream 4. For all you physical media collectors here, you know space sometimes is a problem. So a lot of the stuff I have in this room is actually on my boutique labels. But again, space has become an issue, so you gotta be creative on this. Tell me who's got one of these. Now this is all my Vinegar Syndrome stuff here. You think it's just in the front? We also got the back too, check this out, boom. 
So created this cool little shelf that fits exactly underneath my little coffee slash end table here. Uh, awesome, awesome stuff. So guys, I'm utilizing space to my advantage, so cool little unique things like this really helps. And I know a lot of you are Vinegar Syndrome collectors, but man, you ain't no Vinegar Syndrome collector unless you've got the rad 4K with the lenticular slip. Man, this is a must-have. Rad is one of the, my favorite movies. I'm so happy to have this thing in my collection. All right, so you can't have a movie room without a snack bar. So we got a snack bar popcorn machine here. Uh, old school like sodas and drinks. I'm a big fan of that. You got the old school Crystal Pepsi Surge. And what I like too is you got the True Blood. And check this out. This is actually signed by the cast of Frankenhooker. I love getting like unique item signs. So check this out. In the movie, they're drinking Beaujolais. So I brought this to them, and he wrote in here, "You really like that Beaujolais, don't you?" James Lorenz and Patty Mullen signed this thing, so real cool item I have in my collection, something that you don't usually see. All right, so one of my favorite pieces of my collection, like I said, I love screen prints. This was an art print done by Matt Ryan Tobin. Absolutely killed it. Big Lost Boys fan, so check this out. You've got everybody in here. I just absolutely love this image. Super hard to get now, but I'm super happy to have this in my collection. This thing is always displayed. And then up at the top here, this Camp Crystal Lake sign. I got that made for me. Uh, when I had my old movie room in my house, I don't even know who did it, maybe on Etsy, but really cool. It's got the sticks and stuff like that, so definitely something unique I like to keep hanging up. All right, so one of the biggest things and the biggest problems I had here was I just had a random window in here. One window, and I was like, man, what am I gonna do with this thing? It kind of just kills a lot of space where I can store stuff. So what I did was like a blackout shade, put it behind, added shelves, and now it's a nice display piece. So if you look at this, I got that window display piece, got some cool VHSs up at the top. Check this out, this is something I never thought I was gonna get. Being a Turtles fan, limited Danny Pennington NECA figure. Did we ever in a million years think that we were gonna ever get a Danny Pennington figure? Danny, damn it, I love it. Down here, you've gotta have the Halloween 3 Season of the Witch masks. Got them lined up here. Had these things a long time. I forget which company did these. These are not Trick or Treat Studios. This is an older company. I absolutely love these. I feel like they're right on point with what we see in the movie. And if you check out that skull, we got the headband on it, represent Bore to be Rad. That was the test shot for the Rad Season shirt that we put out, was with these masks here and the headband on. Now, a couple cool items I have in this corner here that you usually see when I'm doing my videos. Obviously, that Trick or Treat Studios good guy doll. I absolutely love it. I've been wanting a realistic Chucky doll for as long as I can remember, and this is the best one that I've seen so far. Um, got the VHSs on the top. I had to go Jerry Seinfeld style and display the Child's Play 2 and 3, uh, because we know how he rocked those in his apartment. Got this bad boy displayed. This is that Matchbox talking Freddy Krueger. Man, my uncle had this thing as a kid, and I knew I needed this thing in my collection. Still in box. Um, let me see if this guy works. It's been a while since I've tried it. Ooh, it still works pretty good. I mean, this thing came out in what? 1989, this thing came out. Still works really good. Now again, coming through here, you're gonna see my Screen Factory collection down below. Like I said, I've talked about this. I'm having a big problem. I'm basically just swapping some Blu-ray out and putting some 4Ks in because I just don't have a lot of space left. As you can see, we're really tight in here now with the Screen Factory stuff. I've got to come up with a new plan. But on the top, we've got some cool box sets here. Check them out. And we've got some cool posters here on the wall. Teen Wolf being one of my favorite movies of all time. We've talked about this on my channel. Shocker, really underrated Wes Craven film. Monkey Shines, absolutely love this movie. Got it signed by Savini and Romero, rest in peace. And I got a People Under the Stairs, another Wes Craven movie that I feel like is pretty underrated. And I've got that signed by a bunch of people as well. I got this other corner here that you probably see in a lot of my videos. This is some great stuff here. You got that Marty McFly Madrid Valterra skateboard. This thing is a very limited item. You've got the hoverboard there by Mattel. You've seen that guy. That's the My Pet Critter. I did a whole video on him. You got the original My Pet Monster there. You've got Stripe over there. That's a great Trick or Treat Studios prop. Got those 3D glasses on them. And we got those two guys guarding what's down there in the corner. And that's those Nike Air Mags from Back to the Future 2. 
All right, so this is an item I recently got. So happy to have it. Underrated movie, The Crush, signed by Alicia Silverstone. So, man, I just love the way this looks. The movie's great. I love the colors here with the white and pink. And uh, having that signed by Alicia Silverstone is something a little bit unique and rare. So I have to keep this thing displayed up. Now, speaking of Matt Ryan Tobin, I talked about him earlier. He did the print of the Lost Boys that I absolutely love. Here's another one that I love from him, Last Action Hero. Super underrated Arnold flick. Uh, we did a whole episode on that on my channel, but man, look at the detail on this thing. Absolutely love this. It comes with the magic ticket. You know anybody else that has the magic golden ticket? Boom. And got some awesome display pieces. A big Phantasm fan, so I got some Phantasm stuff here. Again, another item, this ball here by Nightmare Trash. I've got this Christine and Cuda die cast over here. These things are pretty ran out, especially that Cuda. You can't get that anymore. Another cool item, cross signed by Mark Lance Kerwin from Salem's Lot. So that's a real cool piece. And this, this shelf here I've had for a long time. The glass, it opens up just like this. And it's housing all my steelbooks. All right, another unique item that I have to keep displayed is Brendan Fraser, who is making some headlines lately. I was lucky enough to meet him a couple years ago, signed my original one sheet of Encino Man. This thing is staying up for good. All right, down here I have some great box sets from Second Sight. You got the Karate Kid box set here. You got Dawn of the Dead, Drive, The Guest. Second Sight does so much great work. Uh, I got some bobbleheads here. Check this thing out. King Kong, Universal Studios, Florida. Boom. It's me and my brother right there, 1990 on Confrontation. That was the height of Universal Studios. And then down here on this shelf here, as you can see, I have a lot of mini shelves with a lot of boutique labels. This is my Arrow and Kino collection. All right, so this is the little small studio that I set up down here. So as you can see, what we just talked about, those posters, that's the backdrop that you guys see in my studio. And this is kind of where I'm sitting here, this little desk table. It does the trick and it doesn't take up a lot of space. All right, come on down. All right, more artwork here. We got this awesome Lost Boys David print by Stephen Holiday. It does great, great work. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite items in my collection, one of my grails. This is a Lost Boys poster signed by pretty much the whole cast. And a lot of these cast members are passed away now, so it's so awesome and I'm so lucky to have met them and able to get this thing signed up. Like I said, I only need like Jamie Gertz and Diane Weist on this thing, and it's pretty much complete. Another one of my favorite movies, Fright Night, got this signed by a lot of the cast. It's kind of hard to see because of the light, and they all signed in silver, so pretty much the whole cast here on this Fright Night poster. All right, awesome movie, guys. Little Monsters, great movie from my childhood, signed by Ben Savage, not Fred Savage. Ben Savage signed this uh, up top here. Now, as we roll into this cool glass case here, I actually got this case from Vinny, my buddy Vincent, who you may know from... Uh, Pro Wrestling, the Hara King Vincent. He's been on my channel before. He's the one who gave me this cool thing, so I've had it for quite a while. And now, uh, just kind of some knickknacks and stuff in here. If you check out the top, got some cool Karate Kid stuff. If you guys remember these, Vampire Secret. These popsicles from the back in the day, I think late 80s, early 90s. My grandmother used to buy these. And you bit into them, and it smelled just like that. Another real cool item I have in my collection is this bucket here that was designed by my friend James back in the day to replicate that bucket from Carrie. Now this thing is signed by William Katz, who played Tommy Ross, and PJ Soul. So that's a real, real cool item. Now one of the collecting you know has a container of garlic signed by Edward Herman, uh, who has passed away from the Lost Boys, and it says, I like garlic, but it's a little much. And baby oil by the one and only Tim Capello from the Lost Boys, the sexy sax man. All right, another cool item from here, Lost Boys. This is from Santa Carla, California. It's a bottle. My friend Alyssa actually went to the beach and got the sand from the beach that they rode that dirt bike. So this is something else that's really unique to my collection. All right, and as you scroll through, I do have a lot of Lost Boys stuff, like the comic books. We got some, a box of worms. We got the wine bottle. Down below, we got some old Nintendo stuff, the power gloves, some old games that I have. And then down below in there, we got a lot of Back to the Future stuff, especially things, props from the movie, and things I grew up with. All right, two of my favorite pieces in my collection as well is I got two gis, the Cobra Kai gi, but this is actually signed by Karate's bad boy, Mike Barnes. Um, huge fan of Karate Kid 3. Have this thing here on the top. You got the Cobra Kai uh, license plate from the Cobra Kai movie, a replica of that. And then down below you have a cool art piece of, from Jeff Boys of, again, Johnny from Karate Kid and Martin Cove. 
And then on this side, I got the Ralph Macchio signed gi from Miyagi-Do Karate. And then same thing down below, I have the second piece from Jeff Boys, which is the Daniel LaRusso and the Mr. Miyagi. All right, so another one sheet I have in my collection. One of my favorites. I just love the way this looks. The white with the red is Phantasm. What a great poster this is. Uh, this is a one sheet original Phantasm poster, and I got that cool uh, 27 by 41 frame in the chrome kind of representing the sphere. All right guys, so that kind of wraps up the main movie room, kind of where I spend a lot of my time. But one of the biggest things when I created this movie room was back in the day when I was watching MTV Cribs, Rob Zombie had this library room, this room that he opened and it was a library just full of movies. And I said, you know what? Someday I'm gonna have something like that. 